compared to the first year. What the paper is intended to do is provide you with a bit of context around how that's been working for NHS England, but also to give you uh, a bit more of an overview around, around our two-year operational plan and our five-year aspirations. So um, the paper is split into the, the various sections. Um, and just in terms of context, at NHS England, we actually commission services directly. So um, we are responsible for planning <coughs> care, public health in terms of uh, NHS England, uh, and in terms of specialised services as well for the whole of the Northwest, not just for the Cheshire and Northern area. So what we've provided in the paper is a, a brief overview, if you like, of some of the things that we've been doing this year. And again, I, I'm not going to go through the detail, but uh, we have done a number of uh, significant uh, reviews and developed administrations within the NHS uh, around the performance this year around primary care, public health, and specialised services. Uh, on page 109, we go into uh, the planning guidance. So every NHS organisation, including our clinical commissioning groups, uh, have been asked to produce a two-year operational plan, which we're responsible for uh, providing shorts on, and a five-year um, strategic plan, as they call it, which again we provide a um, uh, shorter process around. So that includes six characteristics of high-quality services, Um, the paper then goes on to um, explain our two-year operational plan as NHS England, and this is where I think it's particularly more interesting for this particular group in that uh, we do outline the areas where we need to do some additional work over the next two years. So on page 110, where we start talking about primary care, a lot of our clinical commissioning groups are looking at using GPs as a focus for caring in the community and supporting patients in their own home, and in encouraging them to be uh, seen and treated uh, in their own so uh, again, in terms of primary care, our responsibility is to ensure that GPs have the right uh, contract in place to allow that to happen. So again, that's laid out in um, uh, page 110. In terms of public health, there will be three key things that we'll be looking at in terms of public health around uh, the breast screening review, uh, and the diabetic eye screening review, and um, a child health information system review. So those are three areas that we may well come back to at some point in the future to analyze for um, insurance the outcomes in terms of specialised services, clearly um, the Cheshire Warrington Bullock is a key area, but we are responsible to take the whole of the uh, Greater Manchester um, Merseyside and Lancashire. So we have this quite a generic set of comments on page 111 around how we're looking at the capacity of things like community rehabilitation uh, and some council services as well as uh, proper vascular services across the West. Uh, it's been a little bit about some of the uh, other areas but, uh, such as the Fender Health. Uh, and moving on through, uh, we've provided hopefully a, a brief summary of how uh, the work we've been undertaking this year fits into the five domains of the NHS account. So, again, I won't go through all the details of that for this area, but we'll look at it. And finally, finishing off with um, uh, a bit more um, detail, if you like, in an overview of the five year strategy around primary care and public health specialised services. Um, I, I, uh, so, it, again, just giving you an understanding around some, some of the areas that we will be progressing over the five year period, so I'll tell you longer term. But really, the, the purpose of the paper today was to provide an overview of, as I say, what we've observed, what we've been doing in the first year, what we're proposing for the next two years, and what we're hoping to do in terms of strategy over the five year period. And I'm more than happy to uh, take any questions. But if I know the answers, I'll answer them. And if I don't, then I'll take them away and I'll, okay. <laughs> I'll let you know. Yes. Okay, so um, there's a last So 
experience and there will be more opportunities for uh, more discussion about it. Which I think would then be a good thing. Can I ask you about the, uh, the bowel screening program? Um, there's quite a, a there's a national program on that, now, isn't there? There is. I know you get it, you can get a, a pack through the post and uh, you can um, send your samples off and there will screen you. Yeah. Is that to do with that? Um, no, in terms of and, well, in terms of bowel screening and cancer services in general, um, there is a desire to ensure that they're as effective and efficient as they can be. So um, uh, one of the areas is in terms of specialised services, we're looking at all cancer services, particularly across uh, well, it's northwest in particular. So there will be specific reviews that are undertaken. So it's not that particular issue. There's more uh, generic uh, guidance around the provision of cancer services. So, so our colleagues at Cancer Research, for instance, uh, deliver care to a set of um, guidelines. Uh, and once they step outside those guidelines, then that's sometimes seen as not best practice. So one of our responsibilities is to ensure that best practice is applied uh, at wherever So it's looking at a different model of care. And some of those um, 
questions that arise as one reads it. Um, I was looking at the, uh, the comment about out of hours provision and combining it together and thinking about the central advice and duty team and thinking about the levels of expertise that are there to deal with the calls that come in. Um, and and it, linking it to managing development at the earliest opportunity. Um, it seems to me that sometimes what you need is an expert to deal with something straight away rather than a generalised call centre, should we call it, where people just, all you get is, we'll get back to you on that, and a few weeks later the councillor gets the call and then the councillor chases somebody because nobody said that. And we all go around in circles and we all make work. Um, so I think we have to be careful in generalising that we don't lose expertise and, and specialisms. Um, and around commissioning as well, I mean certainly last year we discussed a couple of times how if something's commissioned for a very short period of time, that's actually really inefficient. And I hope that we will be looking for reasonable terms of commissioning so that um, organisations say that they set up time to gear up to do the thing they said they'll do <laughs> to get to the point where they're making those outputs. Um, and they don't have to be continually throttling somebody up again. Um, but within all the challenges that I know we face, Reducing the reliance on high cost complex packages of care for children, I think we were doing quite well in general on that and quite an hour, you know, quite a, my understanding was that in the area and in the region we are doing quite well on that. I wondered how much more money could be squeezed out of that. Just my thoughts from there. Okay. Yeah, just the, um, Shared services and um, constantly hearing that we're looking at doing stuff with uh, Cheshire West. I'm really interested in what they were doing any other exploratory work with the city region um, regarding shared services or just Cheshire West that we're, we're looking at. 